Hello there YouTube model building community, Chris Chapman here, Rusty Nuts Model Shop. We are on a little bit of a different path from my regular rustic tutorials. And the reason I say that, I have a plastic body here, it's just an old one, I cut the tub out and used it on a different model. We're going to use this as what I call a practice, demo, whatever, bugger it up if you need to type thing. With this I'm going to show you ways that I like to kind of goof off with different kind of rusting paints and things just to see what they're going to look like. And I'm also going to show you why this is good practice. You've always heard that say, practice, practice, practice. Practice makes perfect. The more you practice, the better you'll be. Blah, 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 blah. I'm going to turn around and show you easy ways to recreate rust for those of you that don't have an airbrush and stuff or using other techniques such as a salting and things. So, we're going to do it quickly, hopefully. So this is going to kind of be in turn of a separate video from my rustic tutorials, but it kind of goes along with them. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our body. I'm going to use just a couple different, like this one here, ceramic coat. This is a brown oxide, brown iron oxide. Got a raw, raw umber, and you can see I've got different brands here, just cheap crap craft acrylics. This in here is rust red, and we got orange. We have yellows. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you. You just need a sponge. I like to cut them like this for the main coats because then you can just snip it off when you get it done. So on this particular model we're going to go ahead I'm just going to put a dab of black just a dab of flat black and we're going to do a couple different areas and because I'm going to be putting it on thick that's where the bigger sponge comes in. You get it, dab it, and I've kind of gone over this, but this is on a bigger scale. This is just a practice. You just hurry up and dab it on there. Make sure you get all the areas that you want. We're going to go ahead and do a little bit down along here too. about this is as you dab it on there this gives you a texture so now you got your rust texture coming into play and you don't have to get all of it and keep in mind this is just bare plastic it's bare styrene no primers no base coats And see, I'm done with the black, and that's why I like these, because I can turn around, snip it off, and I'm good to go with another section. So I'm going to sit that off to the side. All right. Now you can see how quickly that's drying. You can see the wet patches are shiny. But 
but I'm impatient, so... Again, as in other videos, this is now dry. I can rub it, touch it, there's nothing. I can even take paper towel, nothing. Dry. So with that being dry, I want to kind of do some red. Red rust. And you just need little dabs of it. And I don't want big splotches, so I always dab it on the paper towel again. And this one here, we're going to just really kind of pat it all over, more in the center. I don't want it to be more black out along the outside edges. We'll get a little bit down along some of the edge, but for the most part, this is going to come up right here. See how that just splotched on, just simple. Simple, simple, simple. Let's go ahead and run some down along the side over here. And this is just to practice. Remember, you're doing this just to get prepped and ready see what different colors are you know write them down on a little piece of uh, paper here put down that you use flat black first then your brown oxide then your whatever you can see the reds going on there again impatience that quick it is done and ready to go for the next color so I want to use the um, where did I put it I just had it here where are you great oil and filter specials at Conquest there you oil. are and you, you do this in ways that Upgrade to Penzoil High Mileage Oil and a CarQuest Red Filter for $25.99. Just a dog. Or five quarts of Penzoil you do this in ways. And a Bosch Premium Plus Oil Filter for $32.99. Now it looks realistic. We're going to have some browns in there, so I'm going to use this brown iron oxide. Again, we'll just cut that off. You know, that wasn't a very good cut. Now this one here, I want it to be on the outside, kind of feathering into the black. And again, practice with it. You want red in the middle at the highest point. The brown would kind of fade, come into play. Just sporadically. But down the side, you would have more brown down along the bottom edges and for that I'm going to turn it this way and I am going to use this a dollar at the dollar store it's a makeup applicator 
I'm gonna kind of run. You can see how I have paint there. Right along where I'm gonna have that chrome cream, I'm gonna just dab that across right there. A little bit down underneath. I'm gonna take a very flat, fluffy brush. I'm gonna turn around and just kinda act like I'm dry brushing that across there. And I just feathered that right in there with the exception of I got a stupid dog hair in it. Aww. There's my dog Cherry putting in her little two cents into it. And you can see how that's really starting to come out looking gross and nasty and sick exactly what we're looking for people you now with these brushes windshield washer fluid just dip it in there stir it around a minute wipe it off and it's good to go they dry very quickly so now you can see different texture there as opposed to the colors that we have up here now I like to envision stuff, and I've had people tell me that they've enjoyed the way that I explain a little bit more. I look at this as where would rust be? The brighter the rust, the newer the rust. So we can make this and basically just leave it like that. Looks great. Looks great. But the problem is. Maybe it's been sitting out all winter long. Springtime's come, snow's melted off of it. We have just a dab. In them areas, we end up getting what's called fresh rust. And I like to use a very thin pace for this. Now the bottom of the car would have been sent down in the snow as it accumulates up a couple of feet. So for fresh rust, That's what it looks like right now. I'm gonna go and kind of feather that in. Again, I guess I should do this like this. And you can see, we got ourselves a little bit of rust. Fresh rust. Another place it would accumulate, again, dab it on your paper towel. And this could take a while because you gotta dab it. Just kind of dab it across this area here. It's kind of hard to see at my angle. Because water would kind of sit along this trim piece. So. Again, take this. This time I'm going to go side to side because I want it to be along there, not up and down. And there, you got a little bit of rust out along there. Now keep in mind, this would normally be a chrome trim piece across here because it's chrome. 
So when you get that in there, you're going to end up with chrome coming down so you'll have this on top where it's been accumulating and then slowly coming underneath. Where it comes under, this is the cool, cool, cool part that I really enjoy doing. Where did I put it? I can't see. There it is. Right here. We want to do a little bit. And I go in here on the bottom side. We'll do it right back here. We will hit Now we just gave it some kind of streaky looking stuff Bad thing about it is it's not just orange that streaks, so I'm gonna go ahead. See that's the cool thing about it is this is already dry. You can just move boom 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 one step to the next. Rinse off the orange. Just a little bit of yellow in the high spots right here. There you go, and it's dry. It's dry. Nothing. Look how quick and easy we just rotted this beast. Now up on the top. Use the lid this time. I'm gonna use my dry brush technique. You dab it, tap most of it out, and then just right along the edges. Just kind of gradually, a little bit here, a little bit there. Come out here, let's just kind of splotch a little bit on here and there. You know, we might even want to right along some of the Where some water would have accumulated. Remember, you can get these brushes a dollar for three or four or five packs. Now you can see how we've got ourselves a little bit of orange down around the edges of it. I just want to make it crappy, just horrible. The most ugliest thing in the world could turn out so freaking beautiful. So now we got this top lip right there. I'm going to turn around and just kind of dab. Just like that. And we'll just leave that. Maybe just a little bit. Kind of adds some color. 
right along that same uh, people that's how you rust again I have learned all of this kind of stuff from watching other people um, do the rusting techniques and things this is just a sponging but the reason I'm doing this is just to show you practice on a body like this then when you get to where you like what you're doing then put it on your model and no airbrush this is how you do it now the cool thing about it let's just say oh I don't know this car at one time was green we will call it um, let me see, holly branch green. Down the side, take one of your brushes, and I'll just go right along. Now we're going to kind of cover some of it up so it's not so goobered. And that's the cool thing about this is we could do so freaking much. Might be down out. Okay, I'm going to rinse this out. We're going to put this away, and oh my gosh, I just thought of something. This car would have looked so, so beautiful if it was a two-tone car. You know what I mean? <laughs> Just go crazy, people. Let's go crazy. Let's give it a vanilla white top. Great oil and filter specials at Carquest Auto Parts. Again, I'm going to turn around. Oops, that's the wrong brush. Get this brush. Upgrade to Pennzoil High Mileage Oil and a Carquest Red Filter for $25. Get some paint. Or five quarts of Pennzoil Platinum Full Synthetic Oil and a Flash Premium and Oil Filter for $32.99. Now through August 30th at participating I'm just gonna Auto Parts locations. Put it on. Now this page kind of thick, so thinning it down a little bit would have maybe helped out a little. But as I do this, we're not looking for perfection on it. We're looking for something Brushes. I always clean the brushes. See, now this technique, if you used to airbrush this on there, I'm going to show you what you can do here in a minute with the acrylics if you mess up. I'm going to hurry up. a white roof that's rusting through. You can see a little bit of rust is kind of building up from the outside edges working its way in. 
Oh, we have a grain body with some, look how quickly you can really tone it down and add color so that it's not a horrible rust bucket like I just had it. Simple, simple, simple things. Now, oh my gosh, I don't have my Harley hat on. Ignore the white line, please. <laughs> Damn Harley. Anyway, this is a practice body. I want you guys to practice, practice, practice. Now the cool thing about this is now that it's all filled up like this, we've got ourselves a mess. How are we going to practice with it again? I'm going to show you. But, oh, first of all, I need some coffee. Now I've got some family members upstairs sleeping on the couch. I believe they might have a movie going, that's why they're sleeping. But we're going to do something kind of weird. We're going to be quiet. So I might not say much, I'm just going to show you. I'm going to grab my trusty toothbrush. Pick a boo. Shh, people are sleeping. Hey, you said that first. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'm going to do a little bit of video in here if that's okay. I think we went unnoticed. What do you guys think? <laughs> okay. Now. I have me fresh canvas to work with and to practice on. It's ready for me to start all over again. That quick, that easy. Now keep in mind. I had blow dried that. I have really, really put some effort into drying that good. Most of it dried that quick. There, that might make me look prettier. So, you can airbrush. If you get a goober in it, go rinse it off in the sink, come down, do it again. That's the cool thing about these acrylic paints. On top of that, you can do that with the shiny and stuff. Now, the longer this acrylic paint sits on your body, 
the harder it'll get. I personally, after I get done doing all of my painting on them, I throw it in a dehydrator overnight. Give it, you know, good 12, 13 hours of uh, drying time. I'm not going to be able to go up to the sink and rinse that out at that point. If I do anything with it or need to strip it, it's going to require the Purple Pond or LA's Totally Awesome Degreaser and it's going to require a day or two in the bath. And that's the cool stuff about this is it gets hard. That's why I like it so much. But right there is a quick little tutorial. We're going to do this instead of a coffee time this week, I believe. Just to kind of show you people what you guys can do with, I think, all together I spent maybe $5 worth of paint and I used less than $0.30 cents worth of paint. And I have enough here to do a thousand more models. <laughs> it's just, you know, especially if you get them in the big bottles, different browns, different blacks, different shades. I mean, i got three big, huge bottles that are all just different shades of browns. I've got my blacks. But... $2.99 Hobby Lobby, 8 ounces. You know how much I could do with this? So, that is the tutorial for today. A practice run. Now, I am going to go ahead and get more in-depth and stuff into the different techniques on the actual body. Now that i practiced, I've got my colors down. I know what I want to do. I'm going to go ahead and get going on the 37 Ford delivery and I'll be doing airbrushing and stuff on that because of the salting techniques and glue and all that stuff. So the next phase will be that. This here is just going to be a how-to type thing. I'll come up with the name when I'm editing it on the video. I appreciate you all tuning in and watching. For those of you that are drinking your coffee with me this morning, uh, thank you. If not, wait till tomorrow morning. Watch this while you're drinking your coffee then. Bye.